Are you Canadian, but you're contemplating investing in the US real estate market? What are the pros and cons of investing in the US versus Canada? And what do you need to know as a Canadian if you're going to invest south of the border? In this video, I'll break down the pros and cons of investing in the US market as a Canadian. And as a bonus, I'll also break down the pros and cons of investing in the Canadian market over the US market. Stick around until the end of the video where I'll share one element that can be a pro and a con of investing in the US market as a Canadian and explain why it can make or break your investment. Hey, what's up? Darren Voros here. My mission is to help a thousand people create a million dollars of net worth with real estate investing. Subscribe not to miss what's coming. There are definite pros to investing in the US market and I'll start with the most prevalent or obvious one, which is the price point of entry. There are still a variety of markets in the US where you can buy a property for under $100,000. The list of markets in Canada where you can do the same is almost non-existent. Therefore, if you're looking to hit the 1% rule, you can achieve it much easier in the US market. For those of you that are not familiar with the 1% rule, it simply states that if your monthly rent is equal to 1% of the purchase price of a property, the chances of that property having positive cash flow are significantly higher. The second pro to investing in the US market is the population of the US versus Canada. The population of the United States of America is basically 10 times what the population of Canada is. That means that there are just that many more potential renters and because their density is significantly higher, that means there are just that many more apartment buildings or rentals. About 32% of the population in the United States are renters, which works out to just over 100 million renters in the US. The cons to investing in the US as a Canadian are that it's harder to get financing through a lender in the US as a Canadian. There are some lenders that will lend to Canadians purchasing US property, but it is significantly more difficult than buying real estate here in Canada. It's getting easier with many Canadian banks setting up operations in the US, such as RBC and TD, but it's still not a given that they'll finance your US property purchase. Another con to investing in the US as a Canadian is the fact that you are managing these properties from a distance. The vetting process for your team members, such as your property management, your contractors, and even your realtors needs to be that much better so that you are not taken advantage of because you physically can't be there. Now, there's nothing holding you back from going to the US to do research and setting up your operations, but most investors are not going to cross the border every single time they need to deal with a property issue. Another con to investing in the US as a Canadian is that if you don't have the proper legal structure, there is a possibility that you can incur double taxation. I'm not an accountant and I don't pretend to be an expert on this matter, but I do own property in the United States and it was important for me to set up the proper legal structure to own this property, otherwise, my accountant advised me that I would have to pay tax in the US on any income that my properties generated, and then I would also have to pay tax again here in Canada on that income as well. So it's very important that you work with an accountant who is familiar with the US tax law as a Canadian and set up the proper structure for owning real estate to minimize your tax burden. So how does the US market compare to Canada as a real estate investor? As I mentioned, I own real estate in the US, but I do most of my investing here in Canada. Canada. The pros to investing in the Canadian market as a Canadian over the US market are that the Canadian banking sector is much more stable. Some might argue that this is a con to the Canadian real estate market because the banks in Canada are very conservative, but because they are very conservative and are highly regulated, that keeps the real estate market operating in a more stable fashion as well. In 2008, 2009, the real estate market in the US crashed and some areas saw a 70 to 80% decline in real estate values. We definitely saw a correction in the Canadian market as well, but it wasn't even close to what some of the US markets saw. And and our real estate market rebound just that much faster. That all has to do with the regulations that the banking sector is required to follow here in Canada. Another pro to investing in Canada, and this has become very evident during the pandemic, is proximity to your investments. I'm a fan of investing where you can earn the highest rate of return, but I also know that in a worst case scenario, even though I have properties in Alberta and I live in Ontario, I could get on an airplane and be there in four hours. Dealing with an international border, you cannot always guarantee the same. One of the cons of the Canadian real estate market over the US market is our legal structure options. In Canada, there's really only two ways to own property. That's in your personal name or in a corporation. In the US, there are many different options such as LLCs, limited liability corporations, and various other legal structures. The cost to set up these structures are also significantly higher in Canada than they are in the US. 
So that's also a con to owning Canadian real estate. Another con to investing in Canada, and this is a generalization, but I found it to be true, is that the regulatory process in Canada is significantly longer, more expensive and definitely more frustrating. If you're looking to develop or redevelop property in Canada, the governing bodies in certain municipalities, i.e. the city of Toronto, can be an absolute nightmare to deal with. On the contrary, in the US, there seems to be easier methods to develop or increase density in certain areas without having to wait years and years. Can you tell I'm a little bitter? There are, however, areas in Canada that are dying for density and development. And my advice to you as an investor is to search out the those areas and look at investing in those markets. And as promised, the X factor to all of this that can be a pro or con to investing in the US is the exchange rate between our two currencies. For instance, if you were to buy a property in the US and the Canadian dollar is at par with the US dollar, meaning they're worth the same, which has happened many times throughout history, and then the Canadian dollar value falls in relation to the US dollar, you have the potential to make money on your real estate. And also, if you were to sell the property, you have the ability to make money on the currency exchange as well. This also works in the opposite direction. If you were to buy a piece of real estate in the US and the Canadian dollar was valued very low in comparison to the US dollar, that real estate is obviously going to cost you a lot more Canadian dollars when you want to buy that property. And if the Canadian dollar rises in relation to the US dollar and you are forced to sell or you wanna exit the market, then you could potentially wipe out any real estate gains with an unfavorable exchange rate. So there's added scrutiny that must be applied when investing in the US as a Canadian to make sure that your timing is right on your real estate strategy, but also the currency. For this reason, I'm more of a fan of investing in the Canadian real estate market and most of my training and courses are geared towards Canadians who want to invest in the real estate market in Canada. Having said that, I know many investors who swear by investing in the US market as a Canadian. And the good thing about real estate investing strategies and specifically the ones that I teach in my level one and level two master class is that they can be applied to investing anywhere in the world. If you're interested in learning more about my level one and level two masterclass, you can check out my website at darrenvoros.com. If you have any questions about investing in the US market as a Canadian or any other questions related to real estate investing, feel free to drop those in the comments section below. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram where I post regularly. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon.